Okay, so how do we make the video flow from here to here? Well, firstly, you need to be able to ingest this video, which is being streamed live. You can't wait for the whole video to end and then, you know, you have it in one place and then start converting. Like in Netflix, you can afford to do that. You can actually ask the uploaders to upload the full video before you start processing. Over here, it's not a possibility. So you have to take it as a stream. So uh, one very popular protocol, which is used by various live streaming systems is RTMP. I'm using RTMP here because it is written over TCP. So there is no data loss when you are transporting video from here to here. Uh, as you can think of TCP has some acknowledgements, has ordering, uh, has all the good stuff when you're looking for reliable delivery. However, as you can see TCP versus UDP, TCP is usually slower. It gives you reliability, it gives you no data loss, it gives you ordering and that's the reason why it is slow. Uh, however, this video is super important. You can't actually afford to lose some packets over here because if you have bad quality video here, it's going to just aggravate and reach as really poor quality video over here. Okay, so we want high quality video initially. That's the reason why you're using a protocol written over TCP, which is RTMP. It's also the same protocol that's used by Facebook Live or YouTube Live. I've actually tried it on YouTube Live and it uses RTMP. So this gives you a video stream into your server side systems and over here you need to do the transformation. So let's say there is a transformation service that we have. Okay, the original video let us assume is uh, being backed up in multiple stores over here just in case you have a disaster. You don't want to lose this video forever. I mean, that would be something worth watching live, but uh, you, you're going to store it in some databases. So that's trivial. Over here in the transformation service, we are going to be taking this RTMP stream and we are going to be converting it into different resolutions and different formats so that we can meet our heterogeneous clients. So this transformation engine will need something like a job scheduler, which will be taking tasks of taking 8K footage and converting it into 720p video mpeg dash you might also have 360p hls and so on you might have hundreds of tasks like this depending on how many resolutions and how many codecs you want to convert this video into so that's like hundreds of tasks are going to be given to a bunch of workers okay so these are worker nodes they are assigned tasks and when they finish so this is worker one worker two and worker three what they do is they take these tasks and when they finish they give you an output this can happen over a message queue so your transformation service actually publishes to a messaging queue that please do task A, task B, task C, depending on these tasks. Uh, and then those are subscribed to by these workers. They start picking up tasks. And when they are done, they start posting to another message queue, which is over here. You can actually start posting the results of these tasks either in the message queue, but that's a very bad idea because it's, it's full video. So much better would be to actually persist in some file storage, which is distributed file storage. Uh, the results of your task once you're done you just publish an event that hey I'm done so subscribers who are going to be actually pulling these videos and then feeding it to the end users can pull from this queue so we have the subscribers and we'll get into detail over here let's recap quickly we took the original video we didn't want to have any loss so we used the protocol which is written over TCP to transport it to our transformation service the transformation service picks up these tasks that it has to do and starts publishing it to a queue which is subscribed to by workers who then pull these tasks and start working on them. If they successfully complete, they let this video be stored in a distributed file system and at the same time they actually publish an event saying that I'm done with this task. One of the subscribers of this queue is going to be the transformation service itself. Because when you successfully complete a task, you're essentially telling the transformation service that, hey, maybe I can take another thing in the queue. Or you can decouple the transformation service and say that 
The transformation service can publish tasks at its own pace in this queue and the workers pull tasks at their own pace from this queue. The subscribers to this are independent. This video is a part of the live streaming service design at Interview Ready. You can head to the description to see the rest of the videos.